Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We come to the second lecture on Paradise Lost Book 1. We will begin with Milton's grand style. We will see the features of uh, Milton's grand style and then discuss lines 195 to 798. Of course, with reference to certain selected passages dealing with Satan's size, heaven and hell, catalog of barriers, ecological strain, building of pandemonium, preparation for the debate in the second book and then we will pay attention to specific poetic devices particularly epic similes. Matthew Arnold uses his expression grand style with reference to the use of blank words in Milton's Paradise Lost. He appreciated Milton for this achievement in English poetry, but this achievement fell into a controversy called Miltonic controversy when F. R. Lewis and T. S. Eliot attacked Milton's use of language. However, we have spirited defense of Miltonic style by C. S. Lewis, William Emson, Christopher Riggs and Stanley Fish. It is a whole debate. We have this book by Christopher Riggs called Milton's Grand Style to understand all kinds of debates that have gone into this Miltonic controversy. According to Christopher X, there are certain features, one rhythm or music contributing the sound effects in the poem, the second one is syntax, sentence con construction following decorum demanding some long sentence constructions, inversions according to Latin uh, style. This is different from the common language that we use. The next one is metaphor. All kinds of comparisons, extended comparisons, embedded comparisons, lots of with lots of allusions we have in Milton that is a great source of difficulty for us and similarly word play or pun with words, play with words in different ways. Milton may use words in different forms with arch archaic meanings or etymological sources or he may play with different words in different ways. So, these contribute to Milton's grand style. We have discussed this grand style in the beginning so that as we discuss the passages, we can pay attention to these features rhythm, syntax, metaphor and wordplay and finally, when it comes to poetic devices and epic similes, we can further reinforce our understanding of grand style later. Let us look at Satan's size, Satan's body was a monstrous size. How does Milton present the huge body of Satan to us? Prone on the flood, they extended long and large, lay floating many a rood in bulk as huge as whom the fables are name of monstrous size, Titanian or earth born that ward on Joe, Briarius or Typhon, whom the den by ancient Tarsus hell or that sea beast Leviathan, which God of all his works created hugest that swim the ocean stream, him haply slumbering on the Norway foam, the pilots of some small night foundered skiff, deeming some island off as seamen tell, with fixed anchor in his scaly rind, moors by his side under the lee, while night inverse the sea, and wished mon delays. The body of Saturn was so gigantic, so titanic, something like a titan warring with Joe and the sea beast Leviathan is also brought in such a huge beast, is so huge that it, it could be like an island for a sailor to anchor his ship, such is the shape of Satan very crucial passage for us to understand what is heaven and hell. 
farewell happy fields where joy for ever dwells hail horrors hail infernal world and thou profoundest hell receive thy new possessor one who brings a mind not to be changed by place or time the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven what matter where if i be still the same and what i should be all but less than he whom thunder hath made greater here at least we shall be free the almighty hath not built here for his envy will not drive us hence here we may reign secure and in my choice this is the height of arrogance from satan to reign is worth ambition though in hell better to reign in hell than serve in heaven what is hell the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven or hell a hell or of heaven he may be pushed down from paradise that is uh, heaven to hell but his mind doesn't change he will remain with that ambition to fight with god to equal or to become superior to god and his chief philosophy is better to reign in hell than serve in heaven he doesn't want to be a servant he wants to be a master master for master for all things of the world supreme being of the world how can how can there be so many gods with equal power satan doesn't think about that satan i don't care for god i want to be better than more than god this is a typical individualistic protestant philosophy which has found excellent expression through milton's character called satan that's why many critics have found that milton is able to express his own independent spirit and mind through satan much more than anything else satan has a shield which is compared to the moon in terms of size his scars had ceased when the superior fiend was moving toward the shore from the burning lake his ponderous shield ethereal temper massy large round behind him cast the broad circumference hung on his shoulders like the moon whose orb through opti glass a tuscan artist views at evening from the top of fisol or in valdarno to descry new lands rivers or mountains in her spotty globe his spear to equal with the tallest pine hewn on norwegian hills to be the mast of some great amiral where but a van very interestingly milton brings in the tuscan optic glass the tuscan artist that is galileo it seems that milton had a chance to visit italy and at the time he also had the chance to meet galileo through that optic that is telescope galileo used to see the sky moon planets from that place called fisol or valdarno and this through this by seeing this here milton compares the shield that uh, satan has to the size of the moon hung on his shoulders like the moon and also he has a spear which our poet compares to a tall pine the tallest pine and also it's like a magic wand we have a simile here in the form of locust as when the potent rod of amram sun amram sun in egypt's evil day waved round the coast up called a pitchy cloud of locust warping on the eastern wind that over the realm of impious pharaoh hung like night and darkened all the land of nile so numberless were those bad angels seen hovering on wing under the cope of hell betwixt upper nether and surrounding fires in this case we have locus all these angels were coming together like locus in the sky like a cloud in the night and this is referred to in the form of amram sun that is moses when moses came to egypt and he wanted to cross egypt to uh, israel he was given this kind of situation we have a list of warriors 
I have brought them together in one slide without much description. These are the names, the warriors. He tells, Milton tells or requests the muse, say muse their names, then who first, who last. The rhetorical inputs are there first, next, behind and all that. Moloch, Chemos, Balim, Astoreth, Astoreth, Thamos, Dagon, Osiris, Isis, Ores, Belial, these are the warriors. They have all negative qualities, gods and gods with different kinds of sins from human sacrifice to lust. So many kinds of ills or evils that these gods do, these warriors do. And these warriors are ready to fight with God and all of them are ready, they are in place, Satan views or looks at them and then takes pride, his pride, Satan's pride, distance with pride and hardening his strength, glories for never since created man met such embodied force as named with this could merit more than that small infantry. That is the actual passage we have to look at, but then how is that infantry great? We have further connections through all uh, historical forces or armies described in other epics. So, we this kind of description to understand better, we need to refer to uh, an annotated edition. All kinds of battles that were fought in the past or described in the past in various epics, Milton has brought in here to show Satan was ready to fight with God. We have to remember, again and again we have to remember that Satan is not exactly the hero, but there is a question about that. The This whole epic is presented from the vantage point of the defeated. God defeated Satan, so we have a perspective of this war from the defeated Satan. <coughs> we have strength and weakness analysis in, mid, uh, in uh, Satan here. But he who reigns monarch in heaven till then as one secure sat on his throne upheld by old repute, consent or custom and his regal state put forth uh, full but still his strength concealed, which tempted our attempt and wrought our fall, henceforth his might we know and know our own, so as not either to provoke or dread, new war provoked or better part remains to work in close design by fraud or guile. What force affected not that he no less at length from us may find who overcomes by force hath to overcome but half his foe. It appears that Satan could would not have revolted against God if he really understood, if he had really understood the real strength of God. It was appearing like that he could overcome God, but he understood the real power of God only when God used his power to push Satan and all other devils down into hell. So, now he has to think about different ways, he knows the power of God, so he has to defeat God in different ways. One of the aspects of this uh, war and army and all that is about uh, having lot of wealth, lot of uh, resources. We have mammon also here in this hell. And there is something to do with ecology, something very interesting in the lines highlighted for you in the last three lines here. Mammon is uh, considered to be the god of wealth or riches or cast a rampant mammon led them on, mammon the least erected spirit that fell from heaven, for even in heaven his looks and thoughts were always downward bent, admiring more the riches of heaven's pavement trodden gold than aught divine or holy else enjoyed in vision beautific. By him first men also and by his suggestion taught, ransacked the center and with impious hands refilled the bowels of their mother earth for treasures better hid. Mammon, the god of riches, he was in heaven along with the Satan and others, but he was not happy with the celestial riches. He was happy with the golden riches or material riches which were found in below heaven. So, his eyes were always down when he came here. Then along with others, he ransacked the center of the earth, he riffled the uh, bowels of the earth, he explored and 
received or gathered more of wealth from the mother earth and this is the this is this has lot of meaning in the context of the ecological damage that we are doing today we are exploring the earth for more and more wealth for ourselves forgetting the health of mother earth we have this pandemonium pandemonium is a word which milton coined and gave to english vocabulary demon from demon where pandemonium is a place where demons live all demons live that is hell malsibari is a man who built this pandemonium malsibari in greek mythology is hephaestus and in latin or roman mythology is vulcan so here he is presented to us men call him malsibari and how he fell from heaven they fabled thrown by angry joe sheer over the crystal battlements from morn to noon he fell from noon to dewy eve a summer's day and with the setting sun dropped from the zenith like a falling star of lemnos the aegean's isle thus they relate erring for he with his rebellious rout for fell long before nor ought avail him now to have built in heaven high towers nor did he escape by all his engines but was headlong sent with his industrious crew to build in hell at pandemonium the high capital of satan and his peers the capital a straw built capital like that we have here in pandemonium that is hell in this hall the devils will assemble to discuss their strategy we have a simile which this is a common simile used in other epics bees coming together swarming together as bees in spring time when the sun with the taurus rides bore pour forth their populous youth about the hive in clusters they among fresh dews and flowers fly to and fro or on the smooth plank the suburb of their straw built citadel new rubbed with balm expatiate and confer their state affairs so thick the airy crowd swarmed where straight in till the signal given behold a wonder they but now who seemed in bigness to surpass yet giant sons now less than the smallest dwarf in narrow room throng numberless like the pygmy and race beyond the indian mount or fairy elves and it continues bees like bees all of them have come together and they are reduced in size the devils are reduced in size in smallest dwarfs and once they are called once they are given this instruction they all move from the lake burning lake they first they move from the lake to the nearby dry land and then the pandemonium is built there and then they enter this pandemonium for discussion it's a wonderful sight of their huge sight size becoming small and small and also they become numberless we don't know how many angel i mean devils are there huge numbers these are the closing lines of book 1 thus in corporeal spirits to smallest forms reduce their shapes immense and wear at large though without number still amidst a hall of that infernal court but far within and in their own dimensions like themselves the great seraphic lords and cherubim in close recess and secret conclave said a thousand demigods on golden seats frequent and full after a short silence then and summons read the great consult began the great consult began what is it consult he is given to us in book 2 the consultation regarding how to fight with god so the this spirits angels who turn into devils in corporeal spirits spirits without body from huge size to small size in some from some numbers to numberless and they have all come to this court the assembly hall infernal because this is hellish and there is a tautological expression in this and in their own dimensions like themselves there is no other comparison they are compared with themselves and in their own dimensions like themselves what is this we have no idea this small size frequent and full alliteration the different kinds of words that he uses conclave secret place of meeting and consultation 
as we saw in the previous lecture some thematic contrast all of them apply here specifically with reference to the lines 195 to 798 we can see the comparison or the contrast between huge size and small size heaven on the one hand hell on the other hand pride on the one hand humility on the other fraud and also force appearance and reality particularly when it comes to the real strength of the real power of God which Satan and other devils understood after the fight after the empire civil war not before that their own strength and weaknesses they understand and then they think about their own way of uh, coping with what to do next there is a spirit up in heaven and there is a, a material uh, down in hell and we have this crowded or isolated people all of them are now crowded frequent and full in this infernal court and one on the one hand we have corporeal huge size body on the other hand we have incorporeal spirits without much body or much without occupying space so this kind of thematic contrast we have especially with reference to this good and evil design the sign of design the sign of design of good and evil in hell in pandemonium we have with reference to Malsibar, Mammon and many other devils list of warriors we have in this. We have already looked at some of the poetic devices so we can quickly look at them epic similes we have in Leviathan, shield as moon, look as beast we have alliteration just some examples we have here heaved his head stench and smoke soul hail horrors hail chiasmus we have greatest example of chiasmus we can have in terms of defining hell and heaven the mind can make its own hell or heaven a heaven of hell a hell of heaven we have transferred epithet in terms of happy fields his ponderous shield shield ponderous thinking it is satan who thinks so it is attributed to the shield we have this epigrammatic sentence better to reign in hell than serve in heaven we who overcomes by force hath overcome but half his form so this using force to win an enemy is only half the victory but this full victory probably satan implies through winning god by fraud we have the image of ransacking and rifling the earth mother earth for gold and other resources we have the simile in like that pygmy and race and some other similes also we have and then lastly we have this tautology and in their own dimensions like themselves there is no additional meaning we have it is circumlocution the poetic devices in terms of sound effects and all that we have it is unrhymed words but we have noted some occasional rhymes we have tend and offend in 183 and 187 repair and despair in 188 191 nearby and then we have pledge and uh, edge in 274 and 276 and similar some kind of partial uh, rhyme we can see in anon discern down in 325 to uh, 327 lines we have wide variety of caesuras and enjambments the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven the whole poem uses iambic pentameter in unrhymed form that is why it is called blank verse here we have a different passage for us to understand this iambic pentameter with the dread of death to fight or fall retreat nor wanting power to mitigate and swage with solemn touches troubled thoughts and chase anguish and doubt and fear and sorrow and pain from mortal to immortal minds this and addition of and polysyndeton you can see and this date of death you can see in terms of alliteration or flight or foul you can see it is a beautiful passage and Mil uh, Matthew Arnold says take any passage from Paradise Lost from the poetry of Milton you can see grand style. We have a number of conventions for an epic poem here are some invocation to the muse, statement of the theme, supernatural element, heroic characters, descent to hell, in media's rest, list of warriors, epic similes. We have seen all of them in our first lecture and also in this second lecture. We will pay attention to some specific epic similes, whale that is Leviathan that is used to refer to the size of Satan. Similarly, we saw this shield size, the size of the shield used by Satan, the broad circumferences hung on his shoulders like the moon 
and further connected with uh, Galileo and other things. Locus, numerous angels that is uh, the devils actually, the innumerable angels that is fallen angels groveling in the lake of fire compared to a cloud of locusts. We also have bees, the diminished shape of the devils is present to us in the, in the shape of bees. As bees in springtime when the sun with Taurus rides pour forth their populous youth above the higher in clusters. That is why we have this frequent and full crowded place. In some we can see Milton's Paradise Lost as an epic poem on the grand theme of the fall of man. Book 1 of Paradise Lost describes the background for the entire story. It introduces Satan, it introduces theme, it introduces the preparation of Satan to fight with God for taking revenge on him by fraud or force. Most importantly, this particular book presents the mind of the fallen angels in hell and their building of pandemonium and their palace. Milton displays his astute scholarship in language, literature, the Bible, philosophy, different forms of government, etc. throughout the poem. Satan's speeches, as we have seen, may be examples of the freedom of speech that Milton argued for in his life. There are any number of readings, critical readings possible. There are many references you can see on your own. These are some suggestive. We can attempt religious reading or secular reading, political reading or didactic reading that is moral reading, psychological reading or sociological reading, even archaeological and geographical mappings it is possible to do. So much of information we have in Paradise Lost. We can also think of scientific approach to the poem <clears throat> because it is a poem in the context of growing advancing science. We have ecological interpretation, we hinted at it in the context of Mammon and his attempt to ransack the whole earth. We have feminist readings of this poem. Why do we have Eve being treated in the way in which Milton has? It is in the Bible of course. Milton follows the Bible, but then he also includes his own perspectives on the biblical theme. We have a quotation from William Blake who admired Milton like nobody else did. Blake said, the reason Milton wrote it in fetters when he wrote of angels and God and at liberty when of devils and hell is because he was a true poet and of the devil's party without knowing it. When we read Shakespeare's Macbeth, we do not feel bad about Macbeth for killing Duncan, we sympathize with him and the same case happens here when we find Satan fighting against God, tempting human beings to eat the fruit, forbidden fruit and making them lose paradise. He does all evil things, but then Milton by his poetic language, by his imaginative effort or endeavor enables us to sympathize with Satan himself. Finally, we have a summary here. We began this lecture with Milton's grand style focusing on sound effects, rhythm and music, syntax, metaphor and word play. We have seen some examples of all these characteristics in this poem. We have discussed some selected passages from line number 195 to 798 focusing on Satan's size, heaven and hell catalog of warriors, ecological strain, building of pandemonium and preparation for the debate. Our analysis of this rhyme, rhythm, poetic devices, epic similes all tell us about the greatness of Milton's poetry written in grand style, Miltonic grand style. We have some references which will help you further to understand this poem much more. These are the references. Allusion as a mode of thinking in Paradise Lost is very interesting to see how Milton deliberately suppressed the name of Prometheus. Milton, Milton Satan is like Prometheus. Prometheus brought fire from heaven to he, the earth for human beings. And similarly, Satan enabled human beings to eat that fruit, forbidden fruit and get that knowledge, wisdom or knowledge of the difference between good and evil or innocence and experience. So, that kind of 
understanding you can have better from Mina's study of allusion as a mode of thinking in Paradise Lost. And when you have multiple sources, just a few we have mentioned. Thank you.